Mm -mm -mm. I knew it, I knew it, I knew it. I knew it. Did I not call it yesterday? You called it. You called it, son. Those of you who follow me on my personal social media know that I was in the office last night covering the Golden Globes Awards. And we did it again. We went viral. Uh, what's the numbers for this thing? I'm like, kind of viral out here right now. I haven't got that Migos retweet yet. I'm sure Ooh. we'll see it. Well, I was looking at people who were the uh, camera cut to in the audience. And then there was like, what, Joan Rall, <laughs> Jessica Chastain. Yep. I haven't, I'm a big Gyllenhaal fan. I'll just never see that. That movie looks bad. But I googled, uh, like, Gyllenhaal dancing gifts to, like, get my own tweet off. And then I saw that, and I was like, oh, holy shit, this is... It's a whole scene of him yeah, dancing. This is, this is that gold. Frazier tossed that clean alley, and I flushed it home. It's doing crazy numbers right now. 1.5 million views on Facebook, about... 15,000 retweets. Usually I'll put the video up on the screen somewhere, but for legal and copyright issues, I'll stay away from that. So if you haven't seen a Jake Gyllenhaal meme yet, there will be a link in the description below. Go check it out. What is this guy here? It's a koala beer. It says, I love Australia. Hmm. Anna, welcome back. For those who don't know, no, Anna was in Australia. Yeah, I was like somebody here, yeah, my whole chin started feeling like grass. But look at this time, look at that line. You see that line? Holy cow. See, I still got some, some heavy grass. Yeah, this is pretty cool. Everyone got blessed by a little quality. How many of these do you have? Um, I gave away like 20 and I have three more. Some complex in the building, but oh, you yeah. to toast. <laughs> <laughs> That's for you. All right, that's for my homeboy right here. Ooh. Don't get you too much. You gotta work. Uh, this is my help, right? Yeah, you can. We doing the taste test right now. All right, you guys been asking for it. You can't say I haven't done anything for you guys. I'm about to go bless her. And then, are you starting a run? No, the public wants it, so you've been blessed. Also, quick question. What time is it? It's not lunchtime for me right now. <laughs> but it's lunchtime for... Yeah. We have leftover pizza from the Golden Globe War Room. You best believe I'm saving my money. It's meal time. Go for it, Megs. Okay. Kyrie. Woo. Okay, should I open? There's two of them. Yep. Oh, yes. Wow. Yes. Wow. This is the colorway I wanted. The black ice colorway. These are beautiful. I really liked the burgundy, but these are nice. Black ice. Black ice. And another red pan. Oh, okay. The double up. The double ups. Appreciate it, Brando. Thank you, finish the line. Thank you. Final thoughts? <laughs> Um, I still like the burgundy color better, but these are really, really sleek. I like them a lot. What size do you wear? Um, I wear an eight and a half women's. So that's a seven? Seven men's. All right, guys. Uh, so Emily wasn't here on Friday, but I picked out five questions that she can answer from the comment section. All right, go for it. Okay, question one. What is 
what is E's favorite brands? First of all, the like the grammar's not right. Yeah. Um, what are my favorite brands? Um, I would say Sporting Rich, obviously. Um, Nike, Adidas. Um, I really like Ame. My friend Teddy's brand. <laughs> Kip is good, obviously. Um, and then just like vintage. I like vintage a lot. I don't think there's that many new brands that are like amazing. So those and vintage. Um, when will we get more sporty and rich? So I'm always so busy, so I don't have time to like work on it that much. But um, I'm gonna be dropping in two weeks, new hoodies, and then the magazine will come out in February. Does Emily run the Sporting Rich Instagram? Yes. What is your favorite shoe that you've purchased or received? Favorite shoe? Probably the Chanel sneakers because I think that's like one of the best shoes ever. Is that on your your banner? Yeah, it's on my Twitter banner. Mm. I think that just like the shape of that shoe is perfect. Um, my ethnicity is Filipino and Swedish, and then I'm from Canada. Very good. All right, guys. There you go. And don't talk to me or my son ever again. <laughs> All right, guys. It's approaching the end of the day. I'm going to let Master P close out this vlog. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow. Deuces. What's the best piece of advice anyone's ever given you? You know, uh, never give up. Never quit. Even when you think it's over, it's never over till you till the race is finished. So you know, I don't stop till the race is finished. Mm, appreciate it. All right.